let's talk a little bit about uh, the actual meetings, DC meetings. So yeah. a lot of the students here will have their first DC meetings within the next few months. Um, last year, actually, <coughs> one of the alums, I went to your office, General Catalyst, and we sat together. Uh, you probably might not remember, but uh, he was deaf, so he needed some help communicating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, his technology didn't work very well then, and pretty much we wasted like 15 minutes out of that 30 minute meeting <laughs> trying to get that to work. Uh, so any tips that you have uh, for these guys and girls going into their first DC meetings? Um, I mean, uh, honestly, I, the, the central thing about VCs is that like we are much less important than we think we are. Um, this is like, there's many, many types of VCs. I know just about all of them. There's some great people. There's some total assholes. Like it's the same distribution of like brilliant people and morons as you find anywhere. Um, but the thing that all of us have in common is like we have this massively inflated sense of our own importance in the world. Um, when you look at any objective measure, like venture capital is just not a big or important industry. You know, it's a tiny percentage of financial services based on everything else. It's just like it has, it commands this outsized like presence because of the because of the myth because like of the of the memes that, that this is the Silicon Valley style of investing so it's just not that big a deal and that's probably like a good a good mindset and it's like you're you're talking to you're just talking to people and um, you want to convince them to go along in this journey with you it's the same way that you would convince co-founders or early customers or partners like it's it's just part of the same team you, you're assembling a tribe early on in your company, and that tribe includes your team, your investors, your customers, reporters, that's how you talk to media. Like when I talk to reporters, I talk to them in the same way as I talk to my team or my investors. Like I'm just, I'm just recruiting talented people to like go along on this journey with us. And because we, we know where we're going, like we have a clear idea of, of what the destination is and like we don't have any unreasonable expectations. Like we're certainly not confident that we're going to get there. But we know, we know the destination, and it's like it's a destination that's worth trying to get to. Um, and I'm just trying to get, get people along on it. And, and that tends to work pretty well. So um, the, best, the best pitches are the ones that aren't pitches. Like if, I, if, if as an investor I feel like you're pitching me, it's already, like we're already off on the wrong foot. Mm -hmm. um, I want to feel like you're talking to me like you would be talking to a co-founder. And you're just trying to like say, hey, this, like, isn't this great? This, like, this, what we're doing, we're doing something worthwhile. Let's do it together. Um, and then the other thing to keep in mind is um, you may have, like I was talking to a friend of mine who I'd known for a while, but, but, but uh, he only recently started his first company. And he's like, man, Phil, this is like, I'm just fundraising and it's murder. I'm having all these VC meetings and like no one is, no one's investing. I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's see, like how many, how many meetings have you had? He's like, I had like, I had like four investor meetings already. <laughs> we had four investor meetings. <laughs> and like for Evernote, I had like 200 before someone invested. Like I went to Kazan. Like I was raising money in Tartarstan. That's a real place. That's where tartar sauce comes from. What? I went to Tartarstan to raise money for Evernote. I was like meeting like 228. Like sometimes that's what it takes. Sometimes you get lucky, and you know your first your first meeting is like yeah okay. And people hear about that, but like I've got plenty of friends. My friend Tammy, uh, they just got out of Y Combinator, uh, Carrot Fertility. Uh, you know, she's like great. She's one of the stars out of the out of the batch. They like raised money. You know, they just announced yesterday they raised money. It seems like a huge success. She's had like 50 or so meetings, maybe 60, um, for the past year and a half. My friend Alex, he's actually in in Old Turtles. He's one of my co-founders at Evernote. He just raised money for Sunflower Labs. He had like 120. Um, like sometimes that's what it takes. So the first, the, like a healthy thing to think about your first VC meeting is just like, okay, you're about one half of 1% done. <laughs> and just like get that in your head. And if, it, if, you, if you get a deal done in your first 10 meetings, like you're spectacularly lucky. And it's not even necessarily a good thing. Like it's, you know, you, 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 you meet with people, you get better, you refine it. Like it takes a while, you're gonna get tons of no's. It's okay, like don't worry about it. And you know, stick with it. But don't stick with it too long. Like, don't, like, no one's forcing you to start this company. So if you, at some point, you actually think like, hey, this isn't a good idea anymore, then stop. Um, but 
don't take the signal that you've, you've talked to a dozen VCs and none of them have invested. Like that's, that's not a negative signal, that's, like, that's commonplace. But if for whatever other reason you realize like, you know, like the feedback I got, like they're kind of right. I hadn't thought about it like that. Maybe this really isn't gonna work. And like if you really start doubting yourself, like significantly, then then stop and do something else. Like, you know, you don't you know you don't get any points for for, for persevering. So let's talk a little bit uh, about all turtles. What is all turtles? Uh, for those of you that don't know. Well, the uh, the observation with all turtles is that uh, startups are kind of a like a lot of what we do here. This like Silicon Valley meme of that you have to make startups is actually really stupid. Um, when you really think about it. Uh, this idea that um, before you can make an important product, you first have to make a little company. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, and so I've spent 25 years now on every side of this. Uh, and I've just kind of realized that it's dumb. Because, um, you know, what's the point of taking, like, amazing, talented, brilliant product founders and then, like, forcing them to be mediocre CEOs? Like, why does that, why should that be the case? Um, and um, uh, it isn't how any other industry works. It isn't how any other like creative pursuit works. Like, if you're one of the most talented um, musicians in the world, let's just say you're like a one in a million, like literally one in a million most talented musicians. And you're just a great musician. Well, you don't start a music company. You just play, and through YouTube or wherever else, you like you get to millions of people. If you're one of the most brilliant writers in the world. You don't start a publishing house, you just write. And you know, you get to millions of people because the platforms exist. Do that. If you're one of the most talented filmmakers in the world, let's say you're let's say like you're in film school, let's say you're you're about to graduate from a top film school and you're you're brilliant. You're a young filmmaker, you're about to get out of film school, you and your roommate have been obsessed about this idea for a TV show that you want to make. For two years you've been doing storyboards and geeking out over it. We just want to make this TV show. And you finally decide, okay, we actually have to make this happen. So you're sitting in your dorm room with your roommate, and you're like, we're going to make this happen. So what are you thinking? You're not saying, okay, here's what we need to do. We need to drop out of film school, move to San Francisco, start a company, get, figure out our CAC to LTV ratio, and then pitch and Dries and Horowitz for a seed round, and then get some VC in our board, and get some random advice about how fast we have to grow. Like that isn't, that's not what you're thinking. You're like, we gotta get this made at HBO. We gotta get this made at Netflix. Like you wanna go to an environment that has the greatest chance of having your, 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 your vision made in a professional environment. Um, and that's where we wanna be. So we wanna make, we wanna be that, this thing that exists in most other creative industries, we wanna bring it to, to product entrepreneurship. So if you are, you know, a few years from now, if you're the two smartest engineering students that are about to graduate from the University of Mexico in Mexico City, and you've got this vision for a world-changing product, and you're sitting in your dorm room and you know, deciding, okay, now we have to do it, we don't want your plan to be like, I guess we have to like get visas and apply to Y Combinator and move to San Francisco and start a company. No, we want your, 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 your plan A should just be, we gotta get this made at all turtles in Mexico City. Um, so we wanna be the, the default uh, plan for for great product entrepreneurs. Um, so we're basically building Netflix or HBO, where we make and distribute really innovative products. But instead of TV shows, we're making tech products, AI products, uh, and then some of those will become companies, and that's great. And some of them will just operate as lines of business, and some of them will get acquired directly from the studio by acquirers. And so, but we're we're saying focus on the product, not on the company. And if, if, if a company turns out to be the best way to bring the product forward, that's fantastic. We'll help you do that. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We're a product for a studio, not, a, not something that tries to make companies.